All right, guys, so here I have a completely fresh install of OSX 10.10 .10 Yosemite, 10.10.3 uh, to be exact. Uh, so I'm going to go through the process of setting up my development environment so you can follow along and set yours up as well. So the very first thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to open up Safari and use Safari to download Chrome. Oh, and if you see me jumping around in the video, it's because I'm going to cut out all the boring downloading stuff uh, so you don't have to sit here and watch files download because that would be awful. All right, that's finished downloading. Let's uh, open it in the Finder and uh, let's go through the process of installing it. Um, complete installation. Yes, let's set it as our default browser. I'm going to say use Chrome. Chrome is so much better when it comes to dev stuff. Let's get out of that. Let me hide the dock too. Um, turn hiding on. There we go. Okay, so a few things I want to do first off is uh, we need to install a text editor. I'm going to use Sublime and a uh, terminal. So I'm going to use uh, iTerm, which is just the uh, a replacement for the default terminal. So let's go search for Sublime Text and click on the download link. Yeah, let's uh, do Sublime Text 3 and I'll click for OS X All right, and show that in Finder. Double click and install that. Here we go. Let's open that up. Perfect. So Sublime Text is free to use, but you do need to register it um, if you want that to go away. Actually, I think Sublime Text 2 might have been free and Sublime Text 3 is paid. I'm not really sure. Either way, go download it. It's an awesome text editor. Next, we're going to do uh, iTerm2 and click on that. Let's uh, click the big download link. All right, so let's uh, open that up, do the same. And I'm just going to drag this into my applications. I'll search for iTerm. Beautiful. All right, so now that we have, so I close out of that, we have a uh, Chrome, which we can use for our browser, Sublime Text, which we will use as our text editor, and iTerm installed. Uh, next, let's go through the process of installing Ruby and Rails. First, let's open up Chrome and uh, search for Homebrew. Homebrew makes it super easy to install and uh, compile packages on your Mac. So what all we need to do is uh, copy this into our terminal. So let me copy that, paste that in. Let's see, uh, the xcron commands the command line tools. Ah, yes, yes, that is uh, important. So make sure to install uh, command line tools. Uh, agree. Oh man, that took a chunk of time. Uh, maybe my internet connection is uh, running slow. But anyway, the uh, command line tools were installed, so I believe uh, press return to continue. All right, enter your password for the computer, and it will finish downloading Homebrew. Brew help, just make sure it's installed. Perfect. All right, so with Homebrew, Let me bump both sides so you guys can see it all right. All right, there we go. All right, so next thing I want to do is install uh, RBEM. So go to the first link, uh, RBEM GitHub. And let's see how we install it. Click on the installation. 
All right. Um, mm, mm, mm. Consider installing it with Homebrew. Oh, cool. So it says uh, do a brew update. I'm sure it's already up to date. Yep, brew install, uh, rbev ruby build. Okay, let's install that. All right, let's see what else it says. Um, mm, mm, mm. So I'm just gonna check ruby-v. So uh, by default on this system, I had ruby 2.0.0 patch 481 on here. I wanna get ruby 2.2.0 two installed on here so let's see uh, I believe we just do yeah let's do root rbem install I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly or not uh, dash l to see all the things we can install with this um, so 2.2.2 is right here so let's do rbem install 2.2.2. All right, that took a good chunk of time. That was like uh, 10 minutes on my end. Obviously, I cut it out in the video. So let's go ahead and do, um, let's see, Ruby-V. We're still on Ruby 2.0.0. If we do rbemp global 2.2.2, and then do Ruby dash V again. Hmm. RBAM global 2.2 Ruby dash V. Um, well, let's uh, figure this out together. So for some reason, it's not setting change default Ruby version RBAM. Maybe I need to do rbam rehash. Is it a rehash? Yeah. Um, I'm using the up and down arrows to go to the previous commands I hit. Um, so that did not work. We're still on the old Ruby version. Um, let's see. Check the path that contains home. So this is saying uninstall RBAM via homebrew and reinstall it. That'd be annoying since we literally just installed it. I fixed this by adding the following to my bash profile. Um, let's try that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do open uh, tilde slash dot bash underscore profile. Um, OK, that file doesn't exist. So I'll do touch tilde slash dot bash profile. I should create the file and then I'll do open again. All right, so that just opens it up in that text edit. Um, I'm going to do export that file and pop up size so you guys can see. All right, so I saved that and let me try that again. So I'll do the global command and let me do the rehash and see the ruby dash v damn it maybe i need to close out a terminal and open it up again uh, remind me later that was it okay so we now have ruby 2.2 uh, patch 9.5 awesome so it might might have worked before maybe i just needed to restart my terminal who knows but either way, it is working properly now, which is fantastic. All right, so the next thing we need to do is uh, install Rails. Uh, this, from the last time I did it, takes a good chunk of time to uh, download and install it. So just be warned for that. Uh, what we're going to do is, um, let me try gem install Rails dash V, and let's do 4.2.1. Building native extensions, this could take a while. That's probably an understatement. Maybe you want to go grab a cup of coffee or something and uh, come back. 
All right, let's make sure that worked by doing Rails-V. Rails is not currently installed. What went wrong? Huh. Well, let's uh, try to do what it says. Uh, sudo gem install Rails. All right, password. I'm not quite sure because it didn't give me any errors, so I'm not positive as to why it didn't install. Wait a second. I'm going to do control C to stop that. Uh, RBAM rehash. Hmm. Okay, so a simple uh, restarting Rails uh, seemed to do the trick. Let's uh, try to make a dummy application. So I'm just going to go into uh, just do my desktop or something for now. And I'm going to do Rails new test underscore app. All right, so let me uh, CD into that test application. And let's do a Rails S, make sure everything worked correctly. Let's go back to Chrome, open up new tab, and do local host uh, port or colon 3000. Perfect. Everything appears to be working good. All right, so the last thing I want to do before we end this video, let me uh, do control C to get out of here. Command K to clear that. Um, and actually, I'm just going to get back home. I'm going to set up git. All right, so git is already installed, but we need to set it up. If you don't already have a uh, GitHub account, go to github.com. Definitely sign up. It's free for uh, public repositories. If you want private, uh, plan to start at seven bucks a month, which isn't too bad. Uh, but GitHub is pretty fantastic. So definitely recommend you do that. But to configure this, we're going to add some global configuration. So do git config dash dash global. And I'm going to do user dot name. And I'm going to put my name. And I'll do the same thing. And instead of name, I'm going to do email. Um, and do the email associated with your GitHub account. And then what you need to do is generate an SSH key. So what we're going to do is SSH dash keygen dash T and I'm going to do RSA dash capital C and enter your email. All right. And hit enter. All right. Next thing you want to do is do cat uh, tilde dash dot SSH and then do ID underscore RSA dot pub. And obviously this is uh, covered because you shouldn't really share this with anybody, uh, but copy that and go into GitHub. I'm just going to sign in and it's under SSH key. And we're going to do add SSH and I'm going to do um, MacBook Pro and enter the key. Hit add key and then go back to your terminal and just confirm that it worked by doing SSH dash T. Uh, git at github.com. All right, and if you get this output right here, hi, McKinsey Child, uh, replace that with your name, obviously. Uh, you've successfully authenticated, but GitHub does not provide a shell access. All right, so that means it is working correctly. Okay, so now that we have gone through and set up the major stuff, such as uh, Ruby and Rails and uh, homebrew, rbam, all that. So in the next video, I'm going to take you through a few customization type of things. Uh, we're going to clean up the terminal and Sublime text. We're going to link the terminal to Sublime and we're going to install a thing called Emmet.